If you're new to hair loss, then this video is for you. This is our men's hair loss guide explained as simply as possible. All right, let's get started. So what causes hair loss in men? Now, there are different types of hair loss that affect both men and women, but for men, by far the most common type is called male pattern baldness. Other names for this condition are androgenetic alopecia or simply baldness. For some, it will start as soon as the teenage years and by 50 years of age, it will affect more than half of the male population. By old age, this figure rises to over 90%. This condition is called pattern hair loss because it follows a typical pattern the first areas to go bald are usually the temples, followed by the more central forehead areas. These are followed by the so-called crown area at the back of the head. Eventually the bald areas in the front and crown area fuse and the entire top of the head goes bald. The mechanism underlying pattern hair loss is what scientists call hair follicle miniaturization. With each new hair cycle, the follicles in the affected areas grow shorter and thinner. In the end, they are so small that they can't protrude through the scalp skin. While miniaturization is very difficult to reverse, it is relatively easy to freeze it and spare the remaining hairs. In other words, with pattern hair loss prevention, the sooner you start treatment, the better your final results will be. Which brings us to the next point, DHT blockers. At a molecular level, baldness works through a hormone called dihydrotestosterone or DHT for short. While DHT isn't the root cause of hair loss, eliminating it in the system is often enough to freeze hair loss and provide some modest hair regrowth. The medications that do this are so-called 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, though most people simply call them DHT blockers. The most powerful DHT blockers are two prescription medications called finasteride and dutasteride. Both are prescription-only pills that are taken once daily and can arrest hair loss for over 85% of men. The main downsides of these meds are the side effects. Most men will tolerate them without significant symptoms between 2 to 15% of users depending on the study, can experience major sexual side effects. These can include incompetence, loss of sex drive, and gynecomastia. Another drawback of these medications is that as soon as the treatment stops, any hair that regrow falls back out and the balding resumes. Topical stimulants. A topical alternative to DHT blockers is minoxidil, which in most countries does not require prescription. Minoxidil works not by blocking DHT, but rather supercharging hair growth by increasing the blood supply and oxygen to the scalp. We'll come back to this point shortly. Minoxidil is available as a liquid lotion or foam and is applied to the head once or twice daily. Since it doesn't directly act on the DHT, it generally doesn't cause any sexual side effects. It can, however, cause topical side effects like skin irritation. It's also far messier to use than oral meds. For this reason, treatment compliance is poor and most men who try it will stop after a few months. Microneedling, scalp brushes, and scalp massages. Drugs are not the only treatments for men's hair loss. In recent years, a resurgence of interest in non-pharmaceutical alternatives. One of the more popular is scalp microneedling, known informally as derm rolling. This involves making hundreds of tiny holes in the scalp using inexpensive devices that can be used at home. The holes are small enough not to cause permanent scarring, but sufficient to promote the scalp's natural rejuvenation mechanisms and promote hair growth. Microneedling can be used as a standalone treatment or in combination with topical minoxidil. Another approach gaining attention is mechanical stimulation of the scalp through mechanical devices like grow bands, as well as manual scalp massages. These techniques aim to improve blood circulation to the hair follicles potentially promoting hair growth. The basis of these methods is the discovery that blood circulation in the balding scalp is impaired. Restoring this circulation through mechanical stimulation has been shown to achieve significant and long-lasting results. Another advantage of these techniques is that they are completely safe and free from side effects and can be carried out in the comfort of one's home at a very low cost. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Leave a comment on what topic you want me to cover next. If you have any questions, then let me know below and head over to hairguard.com to check out the products and I'll see you in the next video.